Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Smart Class. Today we will discuss about another important things that is called ecology. In various examination, we will get uh, that question from this chapter. Okay, so let's know what is ecology. Ecos that I am dividing this that is called eco means ecos means house, logy means study. This study of house. So that doesn't mean that the house that we live in that is not included under ecology. It includes the natural house like forest, river, lake, ocean, sea that are called natural high natural house. Some uh, important some uh, animals and also plants live in forest in also river in lake in ocean or seas. So that is called our natural house. The study of that things are called ecology. Suppose I am telling, now this is a forest, okay. Suppose this is a forest and here one plant is there and here one deer is there. The deer release carbon dioxide and that is utilized by the plant in the process of photosynthesis and it release oxygen that is used by deer as a respiration and here also that sun ray, sun ray fall on that plant and it prepare its food material by the process of photosynthesis by util utilizing sunlight and that sunlight also fall on deer and that, uh, uh, that sunlight require for the synthesis of vitamin D. Okay. So, the, what is that? The interrelationship of living organism with their environment is called ecology. This is the definition of ecology. The interrelationship of living organism with the environment is called ecology. Okay. Now, come to next point. Suppose I am telling that is called pond. Pond. Here, this is pond. Here, aquatic plant is there and also aquatic animal like fish. In respiration, it releases carbon dioxide utilized by the plant in the process of photosynthesis and it releases oxygen in the process of photosynthesis that is utilized by the plant, uh, sorry, animal. And here also sun ray is there, that uh, sun ray fall on plant and that is uh, sunlight, sunlight utilized by the plant for the process of photosynthesis, okay, and this sunlight is used by this animal in the process of what? Making the vitamin D, okay? The interrelationship of living organism with their environment is called ecology. Another thing we will take that is called ocean, okay? Here some aquatic plant is there and here also some aquatic, some uh, animals are there. So what is that? That is called our another relationship. Listen. It releases carbon dioxide in the process of uh, uh, respiration and that carbon dioxide utilized by the plant in the process of photosynthesis and it releases oxygen that is utilized by the fish. And here also sun ray, okay. Now this fall on the plant and that is utilized by the plant in the process of photosynthesis. And this is our what? This is called that sunlight utilized by the this fish for making the vitamin D. The interrelationship of living organism with the environment is called ecology. Okay. So, I have taken three different things to define the ecology. Okay. Now, this is the ecology. Suppose I am telling you this ecology and this ecology. So, this ecology is not same as this ecology and this ecology. This is the ecology of a specific area and this is the ecology of a specific area and this is the ecology of a specific area. So, ecology of a specific area is called ecosystem, okay, ecosystem. So, what is ecology? Ecology means the interrelationship of living organism with their environment is called ecology. But the ecology of a specific area is called ecosystem. Now, this is the ecos uh, ecosystem of what? Forest ecosystem. And this is the ecology of a specific area that is called pond. So, this is called pond ecosystem. And this is the ecology of a specific area that is called ocean. That means this is a ocean ecosystem. Okay. 
तो दिस इज द आइडिया ऑफ द इकोलॉजी एंड इको सिस्टम क्लियर नाउ नाउ सी दैट इज रिटर्न हियर द इंटर रिलेशनशिप एमंग द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म विथ देयर एनवायरमेंट इज कॉल्ड इकोलॉजी नाउ एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू कैटेगरीज व्हाट आर दोज वन इज बायोटिक फैक्टर इन इंक्लूड्स ऑल प्लांट एंड एनिमल एंड ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड आवर दिस इज एयर एयर वाटर एंड सॉइल एंड लाइट ओके नाउ फादर ऑफ इकोलॉजी इज अलेक्जेंडर गोल्ड हमबर्ट एंड इकोलॉजी वाज कॉइंड बाय अर्नेस्ट हाइकल क्लियर नाउ इकोसिस्टम इज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ इकोलॉजी got it now autoecology means what the relationship between the individual species to its environment is called autoecology means here only one species will take clear now synecology synecology is the synonym of ecology what is that the interrelationship among the different species to form community is called synecology okay now community means what community means the habitat habitat means the living place of a different species is called community and always remember in the same area not in different area same area this is the question of your is preliminary question in 2021 what is community community means the group of different species or group of group of different population group of uh, same species is called population तो ग्रुप ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रुप ऑफ डिफरेंट पॉपुलेशन इन ए सेम एरिया इज कॉल्ड कम्युनिटी ओके नाउ व्हाट इज दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड बायोम बायोम मींस व्हाट सपोज आई एम आई एम आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट द कश्मीर व्हेन यू गो टू द कश्मीर यू विल गेट लॉट्स ऑफ एप्पल ट्री बट इन केस ऑफ ओडिशा देयर इज नो एप्पल ट्री ओनली मैंगो ट्री दैट मींस व्हाट यू लर्न द सम स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म फाउंड इन ए सम सिमिलर और स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट that is called biome so it is written here the similar type of individual in a similar climate that is called what biome now come to biosphere biosphere means what the global sum of ecology is called biosphere now suppose i am taking the uh, case of odisha odisha you will get marine means ocean uh, sorry sea and you will, here we will get forest here we will get the river here you will go get the pond the global sum of that all ecology is called biosphere okay now come to food chain food chain means what now i am taking that example grass deer lion or human being what you what you learn here the so that deer eats the grass and the lion and human being can eat the deer okay why they eat to each other to get the energy simple now can you see uh, the grass eat someone uh, something no why because grass can prepare its own food okay that's why this is called producer and they are called consumer this is the first consumer and these are called second consumer okay and in and ecology that is called trophic level and this is the first trophic level first trophic level first trophic level similarly this is the second trophic level this is the third trophic level okay so the this is also what energy transfer and energy transfer is the linear so the linear transfer of energy from one trophic level to another trophic level that is called food chain okay now food chain always start with producer clear now what is written here see the linear sequence of the energy transfer of the uh, transfer of transfer from one trophic level to another trophic level is called food chain clear now when the grass is eaten by deer so energy from the grass enter into deer body and it is deposited but what percent deposit nobody knows before the lindemann the so lindemann in name of a scientist he discovered 10 percent law of energy deposition when energy transfer from one trophic level to another trophic level suppose now deer eats i'm just erasing it so now deer eats suppose 200 gram of grass okay and suppose in 200 gram of grass that 1000 calorie energy is there that energy transfer to the deer clear that energy transfer to the ear sorry deer now 
in dear that 10 percent of that energy store in the form of flash so what is that that 10 percent means 10 by 100 into 1000 that 100 that means 100 calorie of energy store in deer's body in the form of flesh that is told by Lindemann. Listen, according to him, during the transfer of the energy from one trophic level to another trophic level, the only 10% of energy store in the form of flesh and the rest, the 90, what happened to the 90% of energy? That rest are used to body activity like metabolism respiration. Okay. So, this is a brief idea of ecology. I hope you enjoyed to see this picture, uh, see this video and in the next video we will take another things of ecology. Thank you to watch video.